This is the Smith Parkway Bridge in Calaveras Big Tree State Park. The parkway connects the north and south grove of giant sequoias. It also provides river access for visitors. Our story takes place in the rocks at the base of the bridge. Many visitors are not familiar with this spot in the park unless they are fishing for trout in the Stanislaus River. This story is a non-story, which in a roundabout way becomes a story. This canyon wren is searching, searching for a mate. It is spring, and the need to reproduce is of prime importance to the species. In canyon wren terms, 2019 started out in a normal fashion. On April 24, a canyon wren appeared in the rocks underneath the parkway bridge. By early May, the wren was singing, at a variety of locations under and around the bridge. Clearly, it was advertising for a mate. By late May, the wren was still advertising its presence, and the situation is becoming puzzling. I have witnessed canyon wrens producing families here since 2012, and now a month has passed with no results. Sound carries much further from atop the bridge, so the wren tries broadcasting from an elevated platform. In late May, I realized the wren's primary territory seemed to be the rocks on the east side of the river. I ventured closer and discovered a favorite wren rock. Excrement from the wren showed me where to focus. By June, I figured out the wren's flight pattern and zoomed in on high probability rocks. The wren ignored me, hikers, and nearby fishermen as it pursued its job of finding a mate. My efforts were becoming more productive as I began edging closer to the wren. The lack of a mate indicated a barren season. Without young wrens under the bridge, the wren story is severely truncated. Meanwhile, spring and summer were not to be denied. You know the story. Winter drops snow in the Sierra. The snow melts, becomes a trickle then a creek, then feeds Sierra Nevada rivers. This water flow cannot be stopped, nor can the life it brings with it. By now the river canyon is bustling with new life. Azaleas flourish. Pinstemon brighten the canyon slopes. Birds are pairing up. In this case, American Dippers. The single canyon wren continues to sing and watch and listen. This is his job. A western tanager perches near the parking lot, eyeing a nearby female. The ta tanagers are together soon and leave the area as a couple. The wren is not deterred by other success. He continues his quest relentlessly. Perhaps a solitary wren is just as puzzled as I am. We both think this is the right place and the right time. Questions arise. Did his mate perish over the winter? Is he a young wren, just starting out? Are there nearby canyon wren populations upstream or downstream? High over the river canyon, a pair of osprey have a nest with chicks and a daily supply of fresh trout flown in from nearby waters. Humans below, celebrating the 4th of July, are beneath their notice. July progresses, and the wren still seems perky in its efforts, but the summer is waning and is getting late for startup nests. Fledglings at this site have been spotted in late July but most broods have hatched and fledged by mid-June. The wildflowers in the canyon are maturing, and the azaleas are still beautiful, though past their prime. 
In 2018, I had become so confident of my canyon rim photography, I set up a makeshift studio under the bridge. I jokingly called this my Riverside Wren Studio. In 2018, I tried this briefly and was encouraged by the results. In prior years, the rock that I called the model stand was a favorite wren rock and quite important in the wren's daily commute. The birds would pause here with food on their way to the nest. They also used it as a communications outpost. It was a very busy rock. In 2018, this wren obligingly posed for me on its way to the nest with a cave cricket. This, of course, was how the story was supposed to end. The story ended this way for seven years, and I want to share with you a canyon wren's first day out of the nest. This is one's ultimate reward for clinging to rocks much of the summer. But in 2019, instead of baby wrens bouncing out of the nest and wren family portraits, I had just my solo wren singing for a mate. I was disappointed, and I wondered, is this the last of the wrens? Then I looked at a map of the Stanislaus River. It is approximately 12 miles as the wren flies from the Smith Parkway Bridge to the upper reaches of New Malonis Reservoir. That is a lot of canyon wren territory. I also recalled that in late October 2012, I encountered a wren about a quarter mile downstream from the bridge. I suspect that the scope and complexity of the wren territory in the Stanislaus River Canyon is much larger than I anticipated. Will I return next year to check on canyon wrens? Of course. More importantly, will canyon wrens return in 2020? Was 2019 a minor hiccup in the wren breeding cycle under the bridge? I don't know. But if there is a canyon wren story next year, the wrens will write the script.